You can buy Frozen Horror right now, and in fact, somebody's already received it from Amazon. In my previous video, I briefly mentioned that the pre-orders for Frozen Horror were on Amazon, and, well, it seems like people are somehow getting their games, even before Avalon Hill truly shows it off at Gen Con this year. Sure, they did show it off at Medina Game Fest, but most people weren't aware of that. Let's check out this Reddit post. You can see it in all its glory, it's wrapped in plastic, it's the actual game, and let's take a look at some of the comments. Somebody saying they'll never understand Avalon Hill's communication strategy. Yeah, I agree there. Somebody calling him lucky. He placed the order on Friday and received it today. That's fast. Like, sure, he maybe has Amazon Prime, but I didn't think the expansion was going to be out until August. Like, that was the date that I heard most places. Somebody else's is scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. How exactly does this happen that Amazon has the pre-order sending out to customers even before Avalon Hill has done a detailed announcement for it? Sure, they have said that it was going to be happening, they showed the box at PulseCon, and Zargon's been giving hints of chill and going north, but they haven't really done a blog post or anything like that that you think they would do before they're about to launch an expansion. And this whole frozen horror situation is just very weird. Pre-ordering the expansion did probably come with some risk, but Amazon was likely the least risky of all of these, considering its good reputation. With these people getting their games seemingly early, they might be even doing this before content creators get it. So far I haven't been reached out to, but maybe some people were. Oh, we can read more of the story here about how this happened. They got a notification that their Amazon order was 10 doors away, but they didn't realize what else they had ordered on Amazon. It was this Frozen Horror pre-order. Earlier on Yield In, somebody was discussing how their order page went from pre-order to preparing for shipment, with the expected delivery from July 13th to August 7th, and that does fit within the timeline of when Gen Con actually happens, but it seems like it could be in the earlier portion of that range. Somebody else said that it would be arriving July 7th to 11th, and yet another person is seeing it for delivery tomorrow. This is very weird. At the very least, though, people in the HeroQuest community will be able to unbox this, show other people, and then they can make an informed decision about whether or not they want to buy this expansion or stick with the old one. I'll have more HeroQuest videos coming in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.